Let's just take one more for posterity. These are the after photos Natalie Robinson couldn't wait to take. Over the last 36 months, Natalie has lost more than 170 pounds. And before having surgery to remove excess skin on her arms, this is what Natalie struggled with. There was a reminder of that heavier person and you just you couldn't get rid of it. And it was just something else to worry about. So Natalie decided to have plastic surgery to tone her arms. She had a type of upper arm procedure called brachioplasty, one that's rising in popularity. This is a procedure which is on the rise. We did do more brachioplasties last year than we did the year before. We'll probably do more this year. And Natalie's it's, plastic surgeon, yeah, Dr. Yeah, David Reith, now. is not alone. The latest yes. statistics and from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons show that since the year 2000, upper arm lifts in women are up more than 4,000%. In 2000, a little over 300 women had them. Last year, more than 15,000 did. In a typical work week, that's a surgery every 10 minutes. Some women want to tighten and tone their arms with liposuction, while others like Natalie opt for surgery to remove excess skin, something Reith suggests patients consider carefully. It's a trade-off. We get rid of the skin, we leave a scar. So as long as there's enough improvement to be made in the shape of the arm, to justify the scar, then it's a great procedure. It was for Natalie. Despite all the weight she's lost on her own, she knew that when it came to the shape of her arms, she would need a hand. Very happy. <laughs> It was uh, well worth the investment. I would I would do it again. In Knoxville, Tennessee, this is Clark Powell reporting. <laughs>